Hello, and welcome to Let's Sip and Talk with Freema. Today we have on a special guest. Her name is Destiny Smith. And actually, I'm happy that we're able to get a variety of um, individuals to come on that do a lot of different things. So Destiny um, has her own company, an LLC. Um, she takes care of individuals. She provides compassion. She's a s assistant. You get what I'm saying? Able to help people that might can't help themselves too much or maybe they can and just need a little assistance so she's going to give us a little insight on what she does and what her passion is because I know it takes a special to do the things that destiny does so I appreciate her um, willing to share all right hello Melvin how you doing so we're just waiting for her to come on in the meantime I'm going to send her a request and we'll just wait for that um, to take its place how everyone doing today everyone having a good day you know it's hump day which excites me because tomorrow is Wednesday and then the next day I mean tomorrow's Wednesday tomorrow's Thursday next day is Friday can't wait even though the weekend be kind of like phew, it flies by because you get off work Friday evening. Oh, I think we have a request. And you know we always, fingers crossed, so did I, did I really do this? <laughs> so hold on. I'm doing great. How are you? I am fine. I'm fine. So I appreciate you. Can everyone hear us well? Sometimes we have technical difficulties, so I like to make sure everyone can um, hear us. Give us a thumbs up if y'all can hear us pretty good. Kiki, Hi, hey, everyone. long time to see as well. <laughs> All right, it gave us a thumbs up, Destiny. So, Destiny, I was trying to tell them a little about you. Of course, I don't know 100%. So, can you just share with us, what is it that you do? What is Destiny? Is it Destiny Care? Is that the name of it? Yes, it's Destiny Care. <laughs> okay, so tell us a little about Destiny Care. Well, Destiny Care is a in-home um, health care company that I, that I started back in April and what I'm doing is I'm going out into the community giving care um, but my big goal for my company is to be able to purchase residential homes in different counties and give the same quality of care better as a nursing home at a lower price and then for those who are not able to put their loved ones in one of my homes I will still be able to go out into the community and give care Okay, so mm -hmm. your your main goal is to provide a more intimate setting, I guess I can say, so they can get the care they need, you know, rather than a nursing home has a lot of um, tenants or people staying there. So with yours, you will have more homes where it's less people and you're able to take more better care of them. Is that correct? And I exactly, that's that's exactly. That's, that's my goal. Okay. So Destiny, what gave you the drive? What What made you say, you know what? you know help take care of people i want to provide um for people's family you know for the families that can't go out there or can't you know sit home with their loved ones what made you decide to have that passion because it takes a special someone to do this <laughs> yes it definitely takes a special someone to do it but what gave me the drive was when i first became a cna and being in a nursing home setting, getting to know all my patients on a one-on-one -on -one basis and being able to give them that care. Because, you know, sometimes being a CNA or a nurse, you're the only family member that they have. So you, you have that bond with them. So that's what definitely gave me the vision to do what I'm doing now. Mm -hmm. Okay. And real quick, oh, sorry. Really quick, um, someone said the TV or something in the background. Do you have something else playing in the background, Destiny? Or is a live no. playing on another? No? Okay, so maybe it's just because I don't know. Sorry, M Melvin, thank you for that. But, yeah, we don't have anything on in our houses. But um, so, Destiny, when you say the one-on-one the -on -one care, do you get attached to individuals? Is it hard for you to 
Um, you know, I hate to say, you know, if some some have, you know, they go, go to heaven. for you i i do get attached to them i try not to but as she gets to know them they become family so i definitely do get attached to them but i try i try my best not to <laughs> like i know that i know that has to be hard but um another question and i never actually just sat down and you know Tell us how do, if one wanted to reach out to Destiny Care, what information do you provide to them in case they wanted to utilize your services? Well, I'm not hard to um, get in contact with. Um, they can reach me with my business cards, Facebook, okay. Instagram, and my um, Gmail account. Yes. Okay. I'm also okay, so in the paper, so there is... They can definitely get in contact with me. Okay. Um, so, Destiny, do you have a team or right now is it just you? Like, are you able to juggle? You know, if you get, like, a, let's say a few people decide, hey, Destiny, I, I need, you know, do you have someone that you'll be able to call, maybe some um, some schoolmates or something that, you know, you'll be able to call on? Well, um, right now it's just me. But I do. Okay. I do have a team. Um, okay. but now just say if I need help with a, you know, loved one or something like that. Yeah. I definitely have my friends waiting okay. to join, but right now it's just Great. me. Great. Yeah. Well, like you said, they're one phone call away. So that's always something good to know that you are able to provide, you know, to help someone may need. Um, now I've seen on your card, uh, you said companionship. What other services do you offer? Right now, I'm doing companionship, city, cooking, housekeeping, and also personal care. But now when I get my home, that's when I will still do those services, but add a Senate services to it, then housing and transportation for each location that I will provide. Okay, so like doctor's appointments maybe, or go to pick up the medicines and things of that sort. You'll make sure they're taken care of. That's right. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's awesome, Destiny. And again, and I've already said this, but it takes a special kind of person to really, I'm not going to say, put, I know you have a life, but, you know, to really care for other people. You know, some a lot of people just don't care, and I'm going to be totally honest with you. So kudos to you for being that individual that's willing to give a part of their life to someone else's loved one. You know, so kudos to you, and I, I wish there were a you. lot of more people out there. Um, that's like you, Destiny. So keep up the great work. Thank you. Is there anything else you would like to share with us, Destiny? Well, I would, I would definitely say what I do is not an easy job. You definitely have to have a heart for it. You definitely have to have a heart for it, a passion for it. But if you decide to walk down the road and walk in, be sure that it's something you want to pursue because once you're in it, you're in it for life because people will get attached to you. Families will get attached to you. So like I said before, if it's something that you truly want to do, just make sure it's, it's sincere because it's people out there that's not sincere at what they do. Um, you have some people that do it for the money. You got some that do it from the heart. So you have to make sure you know who you are in this field because people get that confused. Oh, so, so Destiny, let me ask you, when you go to school, do you kind of know then this is something I can do or it's more like clinicals once you're out there and really doing it? I would say you know what you want while you're in school. You okay. have to have it when, when you're there because by the time you're doing clinicals, that would definitely put the icing on the cake. Okay, this is for me or this is not for me. But you have to have your mind made up before that time, before you apply for it for school. That that makes sense because mm -hmm. clinicals is hands on, right? So you wouldn't want to go in there and very then, hands on. Okay. Got you, got you, got you. Yeah. That was some very great on. feedback, you know, to know that you want to do it. Don't get into it for the money. You know, you have to have a heart yes. for this type of stuff. Wow. You have to. Yeah. You definitely have to. 
Okay. Well, I because think it would show if you this. don't. It would definitely show. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> You're definitely well, welcome. Destiny, I know this was very <laughs> quick. Again, if there's anything else you'd like to share with us, feel free. You know, um, but I thank you for, you know, wanting to shed that light on what you do. I know it's a lot of people probably out there that need someone like you to come in and help because there's a lot of working individuals that can't help with mom or can't help with dad or even sisters, brothers, you know. So I appreciate you shedding the light to say, hey, we have someone right here. I think someone asked, are you in South Carolina? I am in South Carolina. I I service the Orange Bird location, Bamberg, Denmark, Calhoun County, um, Dorchester. Yes. Okay, so wow. if you guys need help, you reach out to me, and I, I come to you. So, okay. and I'll be glad well, to help. Great to know. That is great to know. And yes, Destiny Care. This is awesome, Destiny. Um, I'm definitely going to be, uh, you know, referring individuals. So I hear somebody saying, hey. You know, I need assistance. Like you said, you kind of do it all, Destiny. You know, so you rock. Kudos Hi, I wear you. multiple hats. Okay. <laughs> well, keep up the great work. I wish you all the luck. You know, I can see you getting your homes in the future, in the near future, to make this work. Because, again, there's a lot of people out there that can utilize your services. So, Destiny, yes. I really appreciate yes. it. If there's anything I can do to I assist, you. you know, okay, let me know. I definitely will. And I thank you for having me. You're more than welcome. And everyone, um, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, again, Destiny Care, if you know someone that needs assistance, feel free to reach out to Destiny Smith. Um, if you can't reach her or what have you, make sure you inbox me and I'll let her know. Um, again, if you have a loved one or you know someone that has a loved one and they're struggling because, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to trust people these days. But yes, honestly, Destiny, is, is. Um, when I was sharing your the video, um, you know, I got an inbox like she's good people, you know, or whatever. So keep whatever you're doing, keep it up because, you know, it's word of mouth, too. And, and to have that said about you, that's awesome. OK. So keep up that, that is good very work. touching. Thank you. You keep up that's very work. touching. Yes, ma'am. That that's Thank you. you. That's all you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> trying to build a legacy. That's what I'm doing. Exactly. Trying to exactly. be a blessing to families. That's all. Absolutely, absolutely. And don't say trying because you are doing it, Destiny. One home at a I time, honey. You. Yes. Yeah, yes, right. One home at a time. One home at a time. You will have that legacy. And I'm going to be right there saying it. I do it. I interview that's the right. person. <laughs> see, that's somebody else. Hey, China Black. Hey, Sandra. Sandra says she's awesome. Like, I see you have a lot of people on your team, Destiny. You really do, okay? Yes. So keep, yes. keep say, say who you are. I have a strong team standing behind me. I'm just a face. Now, okay. And I can tell. And that speaks about you. Yes, yes, it does. <laughs> okay, well, everyone, me and Destiny will give you your Wednesday back. Um, I thank you guys for tuning in. And remember, keep her in mind. This is something serious. This is nothing minor. You know, this is someone that's willing to take care of your loved ones unconditionally. So make sure y'all reach that's out right. to her. If you need her, she's there. And again, thank you, Destiny. And as we always say, thank you for having me. You're more than welcome. Peace and love, everyone. Peace and love. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>